Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Shining Fates video. Today guys, we're taking a look at the brand new EV VMAX. Now this card is actually a promo and not actually in the set itself, but EV of VMAX here does have the attack GMAX Cuddle that does 150 damage during your opponent's next turn if the defending Pokemon tries to attack. Your opponent flips a coin if tails, that attack doesn't happen. Now we are gonna be trying to, you know, make this build work around that attack. So I am playing cards like Absol and Galarmine where they can't just retreat out of it. Also, Another way to counter attack, obviously, would just be to play a switch and then back into the active. So having the ability to kind of give Pokemon a bigger tree cost makes it hard for them to have pivots with their switch out. So that's why the switch combo can be stopped sometimes is with these cards. Um, as we're going to be trying to build the deck around here, uh, EV VMAX does have the ability to work with cards like Triple Energy and Powerful Energy. But I'm also playing Welder in the deck because, you know, we want to probably still use Welder to power this thing up a little bit easier. EVV is also a pretty good card in the deck. It does have Brave Buddies that does 160 damage, which honestly is low-key pretty good. And even like in the late game, you can go like Powerful Energy, 2 Energy, and then on it, and then just go like Boss a crowbat knock it out for game so brave buddies is actually a pretty good attack in here too evv and evv max are two pretty cool cards and they work really well together so before getting the video guys car shout out to the sponsor car having tcg as always guys if you're ever looking for any pdc joe codes get them over there if you guys are looking to get any shining fates code still or if you guys are looking to maybe pick up the evv max slash evv codes themselves the evv max codes are in the etb codes and then the evv codes are separate but if you guys are going to pick those up to build this deck make sure to use my discount code code ldf at the checkout to get yourself a five percent discount on your purchase help the channel help yourself out and help out car cabin too so big shout out to car cabin guys check them out and make sure you use code ldf if you get any codes over there all right so yeah this is the list i'm using here it's all revolving around the evv max um g max cuddle um and if your opponent cannot get out of the attack this attack can be pretty pretty fun um obviously your opponent can get lucky and flip heads and you know attack which is unfortunate but if they don't they get punished and g max cuddle bodies them which is pretty cool 150 damage is not terrible you're two shotting most tag teams um obviously you don't two shot a lot of the v maxes except for like other 300 hp ones um however i am going to be trying to fit in a couple powerfuls because this does allow you to do 170 damage which is 340 which now turns into a two shot on eternatus which is really good i am also playing double for the late game this can help against amazenta and again i stated before evv is really cool with brave buddies collect is also a pretty good attack draw three cards a great first attack to have if you're struggling you can just do collect to draw a couple cards so there are some other win cons this deck can have of course if you're not going to win the game by attacking taking prizes you could win the game while using galarmine and locking stuff if because we do play four stadiums we have two giant hearth and two galarmine we can sometimes win the stadium race and we can sometimes lock a galarmine in play in the late game so sometimes our win con can be to gust out a dedene or a crobat and have a galarmine stick in play and make it so they cannot move the pokemon at all that could be one win condition we have um, so that's one nice thing about this deck. You can also, you know, lock the opponent with G-Max Cuddle and Absol Galarmine, but you can also just win the game by trapping something and preventing them from being able to move. Because if they're burning all their switches to counter G-Max Cuddle, then they'll run out of switch outs, and then eventually you can maybe trap a Dedene with a Galarmine in play. So that's one combo you can do. I am playing Volk, of course, to Flare Starter to your Eevees. Um, there's no other Fire Pokemon in the deck. If you want to play like a Heat Ran, be my guest. Sure. Um, uh, I just didn't want, I want to just have a BB Eevee show. Um, I am playing, you know, Fire Crystal. I'm only playing 16 Pokemon, so I'm actually opting for Great Ball over Calm. And I got four Quick Balls. I am playing three Poke Gears. Uh, this is not a Jirachi build, so Poke Gear to find your supporters I find to be very crucial in here because we don't have a way to find our supporters efficiently. So I threw in some Poke Gears to help us with that. I am playing two Stamp. Stamp G Max Cuddle can be another really good combo. Um, you know, Stamp to a low hand size G Max Cuddle prevent them getting Switch. They flip tails. You're golden. That's kind of how we can counter them. Um, for switch i had a malon and a bird keeper the reason i'm playing switch outs um like this is mainly because of galarmine sometimes galarmine can backfire on yourself right your opponent can also take advantage of galarmine being in play on your own pokemon because a lot of the time you will have a Dedenne, an eldegoss or a crobat in play so galarmine is pretty effective against us too so i am playing malon and bird keeper to counter that malon can also heal your evv max which is also very important it only has 300 hp i would maybe try to play a big charm i'm playing an air balloon also to kind of help us out a little bit but honestly the air balloon could get cut potentially for a uh, a big charm if you want i wouldn't mind playing a big charm in the deck yeah got two triples for eevee uh just in case you have to go like evolve eevee if you don't have a welder play because sometimes again finding welder can can be kind of hard especially with the energy so i am playing the triples in case we need that instead two powerful energies to do more damage and nine basic fire energy to round out the list um again any other inclusions could be add like another fire pokemon Add more powerful energy, add a big charm or two. Other than that, Eevee is a G, and we're going to try it out today and see if my boy Eevee VMAX can win some games by being annoying, trapping stuff, 
Let's find out. Hey guys, here we go, getting into our first match. We are gonna go uh, second here, right? We wanna go Volcano and try to build up Eevee if we can. Uh, we'll see what we're up against here. We're revealing we're playing the big bad Eevee, unfortunately. We do have a pretty... Nah, this, this hand would have been okay, I guess. All right, let's just see what we get here. What are we playing against is my question, though. Okay, uh, we have to start Eevee because we have to probably do Collect because this hand is pretty terrible. Uh, well, Ben's the Absol, just in case. All right, here we go. What are they playing? Maybe in before they're playing a Amazing Rare and then they can't retreat it. All right, what do they got? Hello, ADP. Long time no see, buddy. All right, can we beat ADP? I don't know. The fact that our start's kind of bad is not helping. But if we can... um, I was about to say, if they don't get the attack off next turn, but they definitely will have it. We can try to block Ultimate Ray, though, which is what I think we have to try to go for here. We're probably going to need Power Energy because they get a big charm on. We can't two-shot them. Ah, I hate ADP, man. This is going to be pretty difficult. Not going to lie. ADP might be our one of our worst matchups. We'll see. They're getting energy on the Zacian. Yep, there they go. Now they're one energy sword. Blah, blah, blah. Good old ADP. Definitely fair and balanced. We do get a Welder. So we can actually hit them here instead of collecting. That was a really good top deck. Um, this hand is still kind of poop. I think we probably have to stamp them, right? Well, what's their hand at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They have eight cards. We can stamp, give them two less cards to work with. I don't honestly mind that. Let's do it. We have both in hand. We might end up deadening the hand away anyway, so we might as well just play it. We might as well just play it. Um, We can hold the Great Ball for a turn, which I'm going to do. We're just going to Brave Buddies. So we can at least hit the two-shot the ADP. That's why the Eevee's kind of busted, because it can two-shot an ADP. It can two-shot a lot of the V-Maxes, which is pretty good. Um, they could knock me out with Zacian if they wanted to, if they have the combo. We'll see, though. We'll see what they got. Best case scenario, they whip Alter Creation, which, yeah, that just doesn't happen. It's like they just always find the energy. All right, so now we have to deal with the Alter Creation, which means if we do bench a two-prizer, like Day of Dead Air Crobat, we end up losing the game. But to be fair, they got to knock out the VMAX anyways. We can't make them go through the Eevee, though. Oh, they got an air balloon. So that actually, well, that still gives it. No, okay, that's fine. The Absol still gives it a one retreat cost, which is still decent. We are going to be able to knock them out here, most likely, assuming we don't whiff anything. At the very least, Grey Ball can get us a card that can get us something or an Eevee VMAX, or we just top deck it. That works, too. All right, here we go. What do we get? Get a Volcanion. I mean, that's good. I'll still bench it, I think. If we can attack these Asians. Here we go. G-Max Cuddle. Bye-bye, ADP. And now my opponent didn't get Alter Creation. That's because EVV is a nice attacker on its own. We get a Welder. We get Dedene, finally. They could Mawile me, though. We do get a Boss. Boss is good. We can chase a Zacian here. Um, which it looks like we might have to do, because they promote the Zacian. And again, they have to find a Switch, and they do Mawile me. Rip. Rip, rip, rip. There's the Mawile. Gotta love Mawile, man. Gotta love Mawile. Gotta love that Mawile. Mm, we're kind of stuck. We draw an energy, though. We can boss knock out this Asian, which is probably what I'm going to do. Oh, they're going to boss me. They're actually going to bring in the Dedene. Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, does my opponent not know how to switch my hand? What was the point of that? They're down one less boss now. All right, what do we draw? Unfortunately, not what we're looking for. But, yeah, we didn't get an energy. If we had an energy here. That'd be busted. However, what we can do is we can boss the Asian up, and we can G-Max cuddle it and make him have to flip to attack. Um, or make him have switch switch, which is pretty good, right? The nice thing too, the Mawile, I mean, we can get powerful energy. We can knock this out with Eevee and boss, right? So that's pretty cool. Um, that can be our win con. Okay, big charm on the Zacian. That's fine. They actually should have put on the Mawile. So yeah, we have to make him. Don't tell me they're just going to out of nowhere attack me with Zacian. No way. You are not about to do that. This man did not just have the counterplay to my G-Max cuddle, bro. Not like this. Yo, how are you going to have that, bro? Relax. We still have the Volcanian threat available to us, but we can't one-shot that anymore, which kind of sucks. Okay, actually, yeah, it was better to put the big charm on. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, they had a research. They do lose another boss, which is nice, but they're definitely going to attack me here. Oh, no. The double E-switch, bro. No, dude. Oh, my goodness. So we actually need to find a Galarmine or a second Absol here. Because they're probably going to go next turn, switch back into the Zacian, and attack me. 
And this thing will give it... Oh, they don't have it. All right, we got... Okay, this this game might be over then. Let's go. That was huge. I can't believe they actually whipped the switch off of that. I was certain they would get it. ADP just always has everything every time. All right, we'll put the Galar Mine in play because why not? We can stamp them. Yep, yeah, doesn't really matter. I actually would rather hold it because they might get a prize this turn. We'll just G-Max Cuddle. All right, this is a huge turn for us. Eevee V-Max is a boss. Can we get anything relevant off the prizes here? We do get a Fire Energy finally, so we can finally draw some cards. Let's see what happens. Well, actually, if we just draw a Quick Ball, we can win with Eldegoss on the Mawile with the Volcanion. So if they boss my Dedenne here, we're going to stamp him to three and then G-Max cuddle them. We have the Galar Mine in play. If they don't play Swell, we are going to be able to block them here, which is pretty cool. Let's see what happens. I kind of, I low-key want them to kill my Dedenne so we can stamp them, and then they have to hard retreat. Oh, they're going to Marnie me. I'm fine with it. This, this hand was pretty bad because now we could get Marnied into the game. We just need a switch and an Eldegoss boss. Or Eldegoss boss powerful. There's the Eldegoss. There's the boss. They actually put a Viridian in play, which gives us the game, right? We go attach to Volcanian retreat. Nope, that doesn't work. Never mind. Oof, we're one energy off. We get power energy, we win the game though. We're still pretty far ahead in this match anyways, no matter what. We get a Bird Keeper, so we can swing with High Heat Blast. We could also get Dedenne. I think we do just attack with Volk, right? I kind of want to bench the Absol. We bet okay, if we bench Absol, this thing has a four retreat cost, and then it can't retreat without them having to pay another energy. It's still bare energy. I don't think it's worth it. I think we'll dump the Absol. So I might just bird keep. I think we're gonna bird keep or high heat blast. We could G-Max cuddle them, but then they just go attach, retreat. No, they retreat into the Mawile and then they knock me out. So I think we have to protect here. We could try to win here if we get Great Catcher. I don't think we will though. We could boss the Mawile. No. We could boss the other Zacian, actually. They haven't played a switch yet, so I think we bird keeper into Vulcan. Hope they don't have a boss. We got a stamp, which is good. We did get the powerful energy. We actually would have won the game if we bossed and went to Dene. All right, I didn't expect that though. We can save that for next turn because we can just knock this out to win the game. I'm just going to high heat blast them. We should be able to win by knocking this out, right? If we had a tool scrapper, we'd win the game too, potentially. So we'll see if they get the attack off here on my EV V Max. If they knock out the EV. Volcanion can still one-shot the Zacian. They have to knock out Eevee with the Mawile, which means they have to hard retreat all the energy off of their Zacian, thanks to Absol. If they were down more switches, I definitely maybe would have considered G-Max Cuddle, but the problem is they can just retreat the Mawile, because Metal Saucer is a broken card. All right, do they have a boss? They have a one-card hand, technically, because they have a Cherish Ball they played. What do they got? They can knock out my Volk, and then we boss them. They could have a Marnie. Marnie would be pretty annoying, but we can still draw many of our Quick Balls to get the Aldegoss. And pull off a boss. Nope, they researched. That is not a Marnie. Unless they have a reset stamp, they're not going to be able to knock out my Eevee. They could have a Great Catcher on my Dedenne, but that won't knock it out. Unless they go back into Zacian. Which could happen. They do have multiple saucers. Okay, they do have a Great Catcher. But again, Dedenne doesn't get any one-shot by the Mawile here. So this should be game over, right? Let's see. Do they have the play with Zacian? They could have two saucers in their hand. But they've already hard retreated. So they need a switch. They need their hand literally needs to be two switch. They need a switch and two saucers. They do have to Dene, I guess, to still work with. Like I, it's just hard for them to win. Okay, they do have the Dene. Will they find? They haven't played a single switch yet, so it's very likely they get the attack off here. And they just win the game. It's also well, this station needs a big charm too. They actually, yeah, they have to put a big charm on actually because we still win the game with Volcanian. So it doesn't matter at the end of the day. And they've already researched, so they can't do great catch or they can't boss. Yeah, they do get it. I kind of figured. They had the switch. They haven't played one yet. Do we either win the game with Boss Eevee or Boss Falk? They could stamp me. Do they not? Bro, they must surprise a couple switches. Because I'm surprised they have not found it yet. They literally have 11 cards left in their deck. What do they got? Yo, is Eevee VMAX about to take down an ADP deck? No way. No way, Jose. Let's see. What do they got? 
There's th there we go. Do they have anything else? Nope. And that's game. Oh, they actually intrepid sword. Okay. Well, that doesn't matter because we still have a Viridian to work with. Even if we didn't have the energy in our hand, we still have the Viridian. Let's go. Eevee VMAX beats an ADP deck. Feels good, man, to stomp on ADP, the most hated deck of all time. Feels damn good. Honestly, EVV there, not even the VMAX, bro. The EVV, I think, was the actual MVP of this video because the fact that on turn one, we were able to smack an ADP for 160 is impressive. EVV, bro, this thing is a busted car, bro. This thing's better than EVV, Max, no cap. All right, here we go, guys. Get into another match. We've lost the coin flip. Will my opponent make me go first or second, though, is my question. We'll see. Hopefully, we're not playing against another Zacian based deck. Kind of getting tired of playing against those, so hopefully we can get to play something a little bit different. All right, nice. They're going first. How are we looking here? We get a mulligan. Not really giving away what we're playing, though. My opponent, yeah, they're probably still confused. There's a lot of stuff going on. All right. How do we start? Ooh, we got a lone double. We can at least go for a turn one revenge blast. We're playing against Pika. Can we beat Pika Rom? Maybe. Bolton's a kind of a headache, though. Not going to lie. The Bolton could be a problem. Absol's good against Bolton, though, because they can't just go Air Balloon Retreat it. But they do have... Uh, why would they go first when they Pika, though, actually? Wouldn't they want to go second? Hmm. The Double Star could be okay, though. I mean, if we can find a Welder, we have a guaranteed Turn 1 Revenge Blast, which is pretty good. So, honestly, not a bad start. We can even maybe Crobat if we want. We'll see. What are we up against? Yeah, Pika. It is Pika, so it's Raichu. It's actually good, because I would like to get damage on this. Uh, one thing, of course, in this matchup is Eevee does have the two-shot VMAT, or tag team. So, getting damage on them first is really relevant. I don't mind Sermit Double, though, because it does have 240 HP. So, effectively, they have to do a lot of damage to knock this big boy out. Um, it looks like they are going to find their Boltund. Only we had an Absol. Best case scenario, they have to burn a switch here to go into the Boltund. That's what I'm hoping has to happen here. Yeah, hoping they switch. Right. That's one less switch they have out of my G-Max Cuddle. I was hoping they get... I mean, best case, they also stay in the active. Okay, they have the switch. Unfortunately, the bolt means we have to go through bolt and then two tag teams, which is very frustrating. Okay, they get rid of a hammer. That's good to see. Get that garbage out of here. Um, here we go. So what do I, what do, I do first? Do I want to... We're definitely going to... I don't know if I want Giant Hearth first, though, because we can use that. I think we're going to go to Dene first. Draw EV, pretty good. All right. Go here. I'm going to get the Dedenne, because we're probably going to have the Dedenne change, right? If we don't get the... Uh, if we don't get the Welder here, which we do get. All right, cool. We get the turn one attack. You'd love to see it. Take that, Pika, you big, annoying deck. Do we ever need the Power Flurgy for anything else? I mean, we have another one. It's not that big of a deal. Mm, we can probably just hold the hand. I, I actually do want to get an app, but they're going to electrify this turn. We don't have to absolute them. We can wait a turn to play the Great Ball. Nah, we'll play it. Yeah, there we go. We got an Absol. We'll take it. We'll just take the Absol. I was going to wait a turn because we could get Eevee, but we don't have to go Eevee. We can just kind of do double for a little bit. Next turn, I honestly wouldn't mind doing a boss on Pika or Raichu. Probably Pika Rom because they're going to electrify to that. And then we can hit it. We can two-shot it. We can also try to set it up to be killed by G-Max Cuddle. We'll see how that goes. I wouldn't mind knocking a bolt on with the uh, Volcanion too, maybe at some point because I don't really want to waste an EVV max to do 60 damage, but we might just knock him out with double and go from there. And a matchup like this, I am kind of glad I am playing six switch outs, right? Bird Keeper, Malana, or switch. Because it does help in a matchup where paralysis is a big factor. Um, my question is, will my opponent get a crushing hammer hedge? There's, then of course they do. I don't even know why I asked that question. To be fair, we don't really care about that because we're already 152 shotting them. So the, the power energy actually doesn't make the biggest difference outside of not being able to one-shot a Dedene with G-Max Cuddle. Honestly, we could save the double for Rainy Day and go Brave Buddies, which is kind of tempting. I think I do want to try to just boss them here. We could even knock out their Coco, which would be pretty good too. And then we got to knock out Bolt and then a tag team to win, which helps us a little bit more. Uh, another energy. Here we go, Crobat. Do we find a boss? We do. So we can either hit the Pika or knock out their Tapu Koko. Both seem pretty good in my books. So, okay, if we hit the Pika Rom here, they full blitz me and then we knock them out. We hit, we knock out the Tapu Koko, they no longer have a Dance of Ancients. I mean, 
If we're already doing the two-shot game on the VMAXs or tag teams, we might as well just hit the Pika early. Hopefully, this is the right play. We'll see. Um, not going to bench anything else just yet. Eh, I kind of want to bench Eevee. I don't really want to just yet, though. I think we just Revenge Blast for 140. And now we can G-Max Cuddle it if they get, like, a big charm on it or something. Because they might hammer me again, right, and remove my energy. And then we're stuck doing 120. They could go, like, big charm, remove my energy with a crushing hammer, and then we can't knock it out double, so we can go EV knockout. We can also save our EV V-Max for when they Tandem Shock me, right? They go Tandem Shock, and then we can evolve out of the Paralysis. That's another play we have going for us right now. Okay, they're going to Marnie me. That's not ideal. I, I mean, I have the Pogear for Welder, probably, but that's fine. Hopefully, Giant Harp stays in play, actually, because... Well, we could get Crystal, I guess. But yeah, I'm hoping the Giant Harp sticks. There's Eldegoss. That's why I kept the bench spot open, right? Because if they Marty me, we need a bench spot for either, like, Dedenne and Eldegoss, depending on how things go. There's an Air Balloon on the Raichu. That's not really a big deal, because that one has a... It still has a 1 or 3 cost. There's the Coco Pop. Yeah, maybe... Not gonna Coco would have been okay, but I do want to get damage on this thing now. Um, especially because I haven't burned a Switch. Oh, they have burned one. But I, I, I just want to get damage on this thing while we still can. There's a Denene. They could try to go Bolt Hunt here. Ooh, they lose another boss. All right, will they find a Crushing Hammer is my question. We can Air Balloon the double and actually keep it, which I'm tempted to do, right? I'm tempted to go Air Balloon into Eevee here because I do want to keep the double for a rainy day. Because uh, this is one of the only things in late game that can actually one-shot something on the bench, especially because we don't have any Powerfuls left to do G-Max Cuddle. We still have Brave Buddies, though, to knock them out, so there is that option available, too. Let's see what they got here. Probably just going to see a full blitz for... I mean, where do they put the energy, though, right? Yeah, there's the big charm. See, they could have... See, they had the big charm play, right? So they could have crushing hammered my powerful and then went big charm on the active. And then we would have went Eevee, probably, assuming we get there. They got 90... We have 90 HP. Where are they going to build this up? So I, we want to go Welder here because they're probably going to go Bolt Hunt, right? Next turn. Hmm... I don't know what to get rid of. This hand is actually pretty good. We'll play the Great Ball first. See what we find. Oh, it fails. No. So I have to get rid of... Could dead A the hand away. I don't really want to. I think we just... Eldegoss Wilder, because we're taking three prizes, right? We do have to lose a reset stamp, though. That's fine. We still have another one. My opponent's only getting two prizes anyways. The reset stamp's not the best just yet. We could, I guess we could have bossed the Bolt Hunt, too. That seems pretty stupid, though. I think we definitely just build up Eevee. Ooh, that's not great. All right, well. We'll take the knockout with Revenge Blast. Honestly, if we had an energy there, I would have probably went Brave Buddies to protect the double for a rainy day. But uh, this just works, too. Now, hopefully we get selling out the prizes. That helps us. Uh, we're taking three of them here. There we go. Got an EVV max. That's good. Absol's not that great, but I'll take it. Dedenne is really good. All right, two prizes that are pretty helpful for us. All right. Will they Marnie me or stamp me, though, is my question. Probably one of the two. They have a four-card hand, though, and they are at a Dedenne, so maybe not. We'll see. They could hammer the energy off. This is where the triple comes in handy, though, because we can go triple out of nowhere. There is the stamp to three. Will we draw well? We do get the Eevee. Okay. As long as they don't find a Swell, we can at least go G-Max Cuddle. Well, they could also hammer me. What the? Turbo Patch and Pika, bro. What? Why is this man got that? Actually, him promoting the Pika, not the uh, Bolt Hunt, is really good because we hit the Pika, we can try to win the game. They could tag Bolt me, I guess. Oh, there's a hammer. Will that get heads? Oh, there goes our Eevee attack. Good old crushing hammer. Oh, boy. This is why I want to get the extra energy on the last turn. Oh, we're going to lose because of the crushing hammer heads, probably. Oh, man. Did they not accelerate energy? I don't think they did. Thank God. Okay, that was close. Oh, we do have to lose a bunch of Switch, though. But we do still have Bird Keeper and Malwana. It's not a big deal. That was a good top deck, though. Holy cow. Welder. No, we didn't get a Welder. Hmm. This is not good, guys. We're in trouble. We're definitely in trouble. I 
We gotta sacrifice the Absol. But then they knock out the tag team, they win the game. No matter what, they're gonna get a prize this turn. I think we have to make them knock out the Absol. Attach pass. There's nothing... Well, we could go into the Eevee, I guess, still. They still have to take four prizes. Yeah, we'll go into the Eevee, actually. We can take a hit. We have to. I don't want to... If we give them a prize, right? They just knock out the VMAX to win. They could still go boss boss on my bench, possibly. How are they playing? Bro, this is a Saki deck. Ugh. Hopefully they don't play another Crushing Hammerheads because then we can't attack. Because I didn't want a Bird Keeper because we need it in case they go Tandem Shock. Which is probably what they're going to do. Man, that stamp, bro. And we didn't get the Welder, bro. Mm, you hate to see it, bro. Good old Crushing Hammerheads. Stopping me from playing the game. We could still go G-Max Cuddle, though. This is where I wish I had Big Charm, right? Because... And I'm shocked full but they have tag bolt, I guess. It wouldn't matter actually. We just see we just build up another Eevee though and we're vibing. There's the research. As long as they don't get a crushing hammerheads here, we should be okay because then we can go G Max Cuddle on the Raichu, Bird Keeper to the Eevee, try to get into a welder, and then try to finish the game off with the Brave Buddies. No, there's the hammer. Yes, let's go. They got a tails. Alright. They have another stamp. Well, there goes our bird keeper. We can still draw Malana though. Which we don't, of course. We get nothing off of the stamp that can help us out. Yeah, with the attack, there's bad. We have the triple we could have drawn, too. I just realized. I mean, if they pull... Okay, maybe we can... Uh, they only played one switch, though. Now nah, we've lost. Let's see we draw. Yeah. It's probably game over now. We're drawing too poorly. We have a lot of stuff we can technically draw, but it's just not working out. I mean, to be fair, my opponent could also just not retreat, right? If they don't move the Pika, we could win the game because they could flip to attack and get tails. I think that's our best bet. We can't do anything else because we just can't seem to be drawing anything off these stamps. That crushing hammerheads and then the whiff on the attack, just like there's literally nothing I can do about that. We just got cucked over. We can draw though. They might not move the Pika. There's a chance, right? They might not have an energy. They are down a lot of their basic energy. They still have speed energy, though. Still have three switch. They are... They can't bench anything, though. So they might not have anything to work with here. We'll see. Unfortunately, they cannot go full. But this is why I wish maybe we should play Big Charm. Because they'd have to tag bowl me here. Here we go. Do they have the knockout or not? If they do knock me out, we lose the game, probably. Let's go! Oh, my God, Eevee, dude. Let's go! Oh, my God, Eevee. Let's go, G-Max Cuddle, for the win! Oh my gosh, that was so close. That was so close, guys. Oh, let's go. EVG Max Cuddle, guys. There you go. They flip to attack and they fail it. So they might have, they just didn't have a switch or an energy. You love to see it. That was way too close for comfort. All right, guys, get into another match with the deck. We won the coin flip again. We'll make him go first. Uh, we are up against a grass deck, possibly. Unfortunately, we don't play the greatest amount of fire Pokemon. And unfortunately, we also don't get much in our hand we, to work with. We don't have an Eevee or a Volcanion. This is not ideal. We do get an Absol start. Trapping this Crobat is pretty nice. Um, we'll see what we can draw. We could still get a Welder, but a Welder into the Absol feels kind of bad. But if it draws his cards, it draws his cards. Okay, it is an Eggrow deck. Eggrow is kind of tough because they do have a lot of ways to actually get out of the G-Max Cuddle. Like, I'm talking Bird Keeper, Mallow and Lana, which... Um, just a lot of stuff. Getting rid of that weak guard's good. So we have Volcanion. Can we draw anything good? We do not. All right, we'll get rid of the Galar Mine. I think it has to be that. All right, here we go. We can boss the Crobat again. We got the Welder. I think we gotta go Welder. Maybe hope to collect if we can find an Eevee. Nice. We can go Eevee here. We can collect for three. Hope we can do another Welder play. We do. All right, nice. So if the stadium doesn't get bumped, we have access to a G-Max Cuddle, which is pretty good, actually. Pretty good in my books. We can also hit with uh, Brave Buddies, but we'll go G-Max Cuddle. Hopefully, they don't have a Marnie. No, they don't have anything. Nice. All right. Um, I don't even know what to get rid of here. I guess a Switch? Sure. The only card, I don't care. I don't want, I don't want to get rid of Vault, because we can probably use it. Here we go. EV V-Max. We're going to Welder. Build the Thick Boy up. 
bench this, sure. And then we're just gonna G Max Cuddle. I'm not gonna play the Gallermine. Um Maybe I should have actually. But I don't I wanna win the stadium race if I can. So I'm not gonna bother playing down another. That's our third. We have one stadium left. It's not worth it. Um so now if they want a super growth or calming hurricane, they have to flip to attack. They can unfortunately two shot me. Ooh, oh shoot. Heal too. Oh boy, that's actually pretty bad. We can still knock Melt Volcanium though. Right? Actually, no, we can't. They survive with 10 HP. And they get heads. Oh no, Eevee, what do you do? You're down bad, bro. You are down bad. So unfortunately, because of the great potion, Volcanium doesn't one shot. Well played, I guess. Um Get rid of probably the boss. Build up the other Eevee. You can try to go into another Eevee V Max, which I think is the play because this guy's heavily damaged. Mm. Quick ball to thin. I can bench. We'll get double. Get double, yeah. You have a good deck, boy. You have a good deck. What are you talking about? Alright, Eevee V Max? Nice. We'll have to play the triple to make this work. That's fine. I just don't want to lose my uh, EV here. All right, here we go. G-Max Cuddle once again. Hit him for 150. Here we go. Will they attack me again? They got heads the first time. Will they get heads the second time? They're also still in top deck mode. They could find a switch, but again, the Absol prevents the uh, Crobat from retreating unless they get a switch air balloon or a switch switch. Or Malana switch. There's... Okay, they got a Dene or another Crobat. Yeah, that Grave Potion was pretty big brain. I did not see that coming. We would have knocked him out if they didn't play the Grave Potion. Actually, no, we can't because it's a big charm. We need to find Power Plunge to do that, but we're kind of at the point where it doesn't matter. We could lose our Stadium, actually, but then we are. If we lose the Stadium, we might not actually be able to G-Max Cuddle again. We can hard retreat, I guess. We'll see. We just got to hope they whip. They actually get a Rowlet. Uh-oh. And they fail the attack. G-Max Cuddle for the win. We draw an energy. I'm not going to play the Welder because they could drop Glare me. I want to make sure we have all the energy in the deck. I'm not even going to do anything with the hand. I'm going to hold it. We're just going to knock him out. Let's go. G-Max Cuddle. They can't attack me. Yo, who's trying to attack my Eevee? Uh, clearly not that egg round. There's some more energy, which is good. The Bird Keeper is pretty good, too. This should be about game over. Uh, maybe we can go Eldegoss for boss if they bench another egg round. No? All right. Um, might as well put the Power Flange on the active. Just get it doing more damage. We're just going to G-Max Cuddle this Crobat. Leave it with 10 HP left. Maybe... I don't know why they grabbed the Rowlet. I mean, they didn't have a supporter, so maybe they rise like a Crobat or something. Ah, yeah, this is game over, bro. G-Max Cuddle, because whipping that attack on the Egg Row there was just huge, and it's going to allow us to just kind of sweep him with an Eevee, and this is pretty much game over. Um, yeah, this is pretty much game over. There you go. Eevee V-Max takes down Egg Row. G-Max Cuddle, the most annoying attack to play against if you have no response. You love to see it. Did they play? Uh, I wonder if they played um, Decidueye in the deck. I'm gonna take a peek. What were they playing? They did have Decidueye. Okay, so good thing we have Volcanion. How many weak cards did they play? Oh, they had four. Yo, that Decidueye actually could have bodied us. So it's a good thing they were bricking there. Oh, let's go, dude. The G Max Cuddle making Eevee almost invincible. But I'm gonna wrap the day's piece of you guys with the deck. I got some stuff I gotta do today. Overall, though, I think we got some good games with the deck. We took down ADP. We had a pretty close game against Pika. G Max Cuddle carried us in those two matches there against Pika and Eggra. But overall, this is the deck. If you guys have any other cool Eevee V Max idea, comment them down below because I'm open. I'm all ears because, you know, I want to keep making content right and if you guys have any other cool ways to play eevee let me know down in the comments below i'll be interested to hear if you guys have any other cool ways to play it thanks for watching the video guys if you enjoyed today's pdcgo shiny fate video slap like on the video show your support on the content if you're also new to the channel make sure to subscribe down below help me on the road to reaching 15,000 subs now that we hit 14k as always, guys, check out Card Cavern down below. Use code LDF if you get any codes over there. Check out my Patreon down below. I am going to be posting some extra shiny page content over my Patreon. It's only $2 a month to get access to those videos. There's another way to support the channel if you so please. Um, Yeah, check out my Twitch down below. Twitch.tv slash Fury. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.